Okay, here guys, Rocky here again. Uh, messing about with my my spectrums. Now, as you may or may not aware, spectrums connect by what we used to call the aerial lead back in the day. So, comes out here. Now, I don't know how else I'll pick up my camera, but there's a lot of interference on the TV. And this, you know, well, even if I just touch the cable, it zip, zips all over the place. Basically, um, there's a lot of interference on it, and I mean, my modern flat pans won't even sync to the Spectrum signal, it's too weak, too old. Now, there is a mod, um, it's nothing new, it's been around a long time. Basically, the modulator in here, the type of Spectrum, converts a, a component signal to an RF signal to send to the TV because back in the 80s pretty much British TVs just had the RF signal the aerial lead that plugged in the back of the TV to get stuff over the air fast forward a few years everybody had sort of component well what I mean by that is I mean yellow white red so what I've done this is just to show you how good the picture can be is I've just plugged in the cable it's the old on the cable and then I've got a couple of crocodile clips and a couple of test leads and um, the mod's really simple, it's been out for a long time so I don't recommend you do it when the machine's on but I've done it a few times so I know what I'm doing so first of all we unplug this and then I've got the spectrum case opened I'll pull the power I'll show you what well. here Careful to damage the ribbon cables. Now, that's uh, on the RF modulator, there are two. Oh, Christ, I'm almost that's in the way. There are two inputs. That's plus five here, the one at the back, and this one's the actual component video signal. So, if I connect that croc the yellow one to that one, and we need a ground. Now, there are several, obviously you can take ground from everywhere on the board, but I find if you take it from the back on the capacitors, it seems to clean it up a bit. So I'll just take it to there. And we need to plug the spectrum back in. Obviously it's not going to show on the RF. And then if I switch this to component, uh, number three, let me make sure nothing's touching each other. A bit of molecular jiggery about ski. That'll help if I put this on the right end of the capacitor. Technical details, technical difficulties. Here we go. The picture is. This is a problem when you do it with just a couple of clips. The picture is. Uh, you won't be able to see it very well on the camera, but it's basically uh, static free. Uh, this is called the. That's. I'll put a link in the description. It's quite simple to do. It takes 15 20 minutes. Works quite well. Right guys, I've actually just swapped over the Spectrum for the rubber keyed 48, exactly the same thing. The picture is absolutely crystal clear. Before there was a horrendous amount of interference in the RF modulator. Now, the big advantage of this is, once you've done that, you can plug it into an LCD TV and play Spectrum games. Which is really cool. Uh, so, I'll put, as I said before, I'll put a link in the description. And, well... Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Alright, guys, I've actually just swapped over the Spectrum for the Rubber Keyed 48. Exactly the same thing. The picture is absolutely crystal clear. Before, there was a horrendous amount of interference in the RF modulator. Now, the big advantage of this is, 
once you've done that, you can plug it into an LCD TV and play Spectrum games, which is really cool. Uh, so I'll put, as I said before, I'll put a link in the description. And, well, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.